Hi, welcome to my fabrication channel. <laughs> okay, so earlier today I went, I got off of work and I went to buy an argon bottle and then I set up my TIG torch. In this video I'm going to show what happened on my first day of trying to learn how to TIG weld. I'm using a number 6 cup and a 1.6 millimeter tungsten. I sharpened it on a grinder to no real angle. I just sharpened it to where it looked pointy. And I didn't catch my first attempt, but I caught my, my second weld. I actually recommend getting into this for sure if you're trying to do sheet metal. It's way, way easier than, than using a stick. Today I welded one millimeter thick steel, and I didn't even clean it that good. I just hit it with the grinder, no acetone, because I didn't feel like going to the store. And I was actually amazed by the results. In this video, I'm using the same machine. It's a Everlast 160 uh, STH, and I have, I'm running 100% argon. Okay, so for a while, I, I was trying to learn how to stick well thin stuff with the uh, you know, stick well thin stuff, and I never really could do it successfully. I have another video where I, where I feel pretty bad, and that's always been a problem for me because you always have to weld up exhaust and body panels and stuff like that. And this right here, this section right here, I know, I know, uh, this section right here, from here to here, that is the first attempt to weld anything with the TIG. And I did a fusion weld with no filter. And I was amazed by the result. So amazed I had to make a I had to make this video on it. Just look at it. And then you can look at the back side. I know it might not be perfect, but it, it, it almost seemed like it wanted to dig into the back. That was my first shot. And I was just amazed by it. I've never, I've never been able to weld sheet metal that, that good, with a stick. Not even close. Here goes another weld that I made. That, this was like one, one shot from about here to here. Then I restarted and went from here to here. And I tried to keep going and I messed it up. And I actually messed it up on this, on this part too. I, I, I restarted and then, I, you know, something went crazy. So. I'm not, I haven't perfected it yet, but just keep in mind that I seriously put down a bead that is well over an inch long, restarted, and it started out good. I have a problem with restarts with a stick, so to me this is, this is crazy. Okay, for this first weld, I didn't catch it on camera, but then I tried to replicate it and I messed it up. I'll show that, and then I'll get into me welding this. 65 amps. The, the flow is, is pure argon. I don't even know how much to stick my electrode out, but I, I stuck it out that much. And I'm just going to lay the cup on it. I have a high frequency start, so it'll jump the spark by itself, and I'm just going to go like that along the seam. And the crazy thing is, for stability, I'm, just gonna, I'm actually going to drag the cup along the seam, and that's it. Wow, it didn't work like it did a few minutes ago. Okay, here's take two, exact same setup. Wow, that's insane to me. That doesn't make any sense. That's like a fusion weld. No filler. That's the back side of it. Looks crappy, but it's not. Look at the front side of it. Like, Just look at it. That quick, that easy. It's like I said, I've never, I've never, I don't even, I can't even explain what just happened. It has a line down, I think that's where I was touching the tungsten. and I think I was dipping too far into it. But it's like I said, I don't even know how to TIG weld. I don't even know what I'm doing. And look what just happened. I've, I've, ne I've, I've never been able to weld sheet metal like this ever in my life. That's like no experience welding 
TIG welding, first time. Yeah, I'm going to break it. I'm just going to break it and see how it... I'm telling you, it's on there. It's stuck. It's probably going to break the weld, yeah, but it's it's on there. Just so people don't think that, that I'm joking. I just folded it. I just fold... Okay, I folded it all the way in half. It didn't even break for this little section. The rest of it did crack. But come on, I folded it in half. I mean, and it's still... I did fold it in half though. You see what I'm saying? And part of that, you can see right there where it was actually, yeah, it, one thing about fusion welding, they say that whenever you, you fuse it with no fillers, you actually create a smaller, a thinner portion. So, it's going to break the weld because you don't have a filler there. Anyway, let's do this again. This is, this is ridiculous. I don't even know how to use a filler. <laughs> I really don't even know how to put the filler on it, really. Alright, let's go. Let's give it another go. That's crazy. I can't even believe what I'm seeing. Well, I think I messed it up. Oh, it dipped it. I dipped the punch in there. Okay, I got a little too excited. To be honest, I got a little bit too excited. That's the back side of it. It's still like, like right there, it almost just turned into one piece. Like, look at it, it's just, it's nice. See, then I restarted about right there, which it restarts fine. And then right around here, I don't know, I just started losing track of what I was doing. Maybe because it, it has ripples in it. And then I dipped the tungsten about right there. But still, look, that's a pretty good stretch. That's, I mean, I could, if I would just stick to maybe like an inch, at, uh, maybe two inches at a time. And look, wow, look at that. On this side, it almost looks like it has a bead on it. <laughs> okay, so moral of the story, if you're trying to weld sheet metal, don't be scared to get a, a don't be scared to get a, 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 a TIG welder because um, I've, I've argued with people about this. A lot of people say it's really, really hard to learn, and I'm sure it is, but I've spent way more time trying to weld sheet metal. With a stick welder, and I had worse results. Wow, that's crazy. I'm still tripping about that. That looks like a bead ran on that side too, but it, but it was actually on this side. And look how clean it is. There's no slag on here. Okay, I try to jump ahead. This right here is my first attempt to do a lap joint with no filter. Up to about right here, of course it didn't work. And then here goes my first attempt to dab the filter. <laughs> I think I need some practice. It actually really is hard to do the filter. Um, Anyway, so I'll post some videos of after I learn how to do it a little bit. And this is what happened moments later. <laughs> Look at that mess. This is funny. So I guess, like, obviously I didn't just automatically know how to do it. Here goes my tungsten and stuck in the mess. 
Oh, man.